Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in the world of digital infrastructure. And we are coming to you live. That's right. We are live, Scott. We are live. We are. We I are. feel alive. <laughs> I feel alive as well. We are coming to you live from Data Cloud USA in the Lone Star State of Austin, Texas. And we are, as I mentioned, we are at the Data Cloud USA event. And I am here with, can I say, old friend now? We've known one another I, long absolutely, enough, right? Absolutely. Absolutely, Dean. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I'm here with my old friend also, but almost a, a new friend. Every, <laughs> every year, every year, it feels a little bit new. Um, Mr. Scott Berg. Scott is the CEO of Dark Fiber and Infrastructure, aka DFNI. Scott, how are you doing? I am doing great. It's just exciting to be here, and and uh, we've got a great venue. We've got mm -hmm. a great collection of folks, and uh, just really, really excited to be here at Data Cloud this year. Outstanding, and Scott, a lot of great things happening over there at DFNI, but why, why don't we talk about... Um, why don't we talk about expansion? Want to talk about uh, expansion there in Northern Virginia? Absolutely. So it continues to be expansion in the form of densification. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Loudoun County has been historically the epicenter of data center development. It's expanding yeah. well outside of that area, as well as infilling within that general area. And then most recently in that contiguous footprint, Maryland is really, really starting to explode. You're seeing sure. a lot of the folks here uh, at this conference that have got existing presence in Northern Virginia mm -hmm. that are expanding into that that power rich area mm -hmm. of Maryland uh, as a couple of the impediments to getting there are are clearing up. And, uh, and so we're super excited about our continued expansion there. You know, many years ago, uh, the DF&I team put together a unique river crossing into Maryland that allowed for the ability I to remember. access yeah. and transport data up into that, that again, power rich area. And we're just super excited about the continued evolution that AI and machine learning are, are having in the industry and, yeah. and how we're able to play a part in facilitating that. Yeah, you know, um, in, in this instance, more is more. More really is more. <laughs> I'll tell you, if anybody would have, if anybody would have told me that they could anticipate the growth trajectory that, mm -hmm. we're see, that we've seen in the last just two years. Yeah. Um, I, I would have been stunned. Uh, yeah. I certainly wouldn't have uh, foreseen that. But it is great to be a part of it and be able to facilitate it. And uh, and so we just appreciate so much the partners that we've got in this whole endeavor, both from the data center development side, as well as the end customers who are the tenants of those data centers, mm -hmm. and our ability to just uh, connect them together and and make the whole ecosystem work. Yeah, no, ecosystem, another another uh, great theme um, here. But uh, And we'll get into that probably this evening over a drink or something, right. but we can't right now, but because there's other things, and you've mentioned it, uh, uh, along the more is more theme, AI in the data center and what ultimately that means. And as a you know dark fiber provider and in digital infrastructure, it's kind of a changing of the guard uh, where things are kind of going. Why don't you talk a little bit about how DFNI is um, is kind of involved in that AI ecosystem? Well, I came out of the telecommunications world, and mm -hmm. I'll distinguish that from DFNI, who was a communications infrastructure developer. You know, in the telecommunications world, we designed and implemented networks based upon kind of the old regulatory regime and the architecture that yeah. was meant to connect a global network right. for uh, mainly analog, but mm -hmm. then analog to transition to digital communications for any particular purpose. Mm -hmm. But this huge data center growth and specifically the AI capacity requirements that are that are that are just absolutely necessary to facilitate this whole ecosystem require a different architecture, a yeah. different scale. And so we're building out where power, land, and communications infrastructure intersect. You're, you're enabling this mm -hmm. promise of an AI-enabled world. And so we just want to be one of the legs of that stool uh, yeah. that, that allow it to be in place. So that's new development that is specifically optimized to meet the workload requirements for AI and machine learning. And uh, and so it's a little bit of a new world for us as well. Yeah, no, it really absolutely. Is. it's, it's, a, it's a, uh, a rethinking of, of a brand new story that just happens to be connected to the story we've been telling for a hundred over a hundred years. That's right. Uh, but it is a, it's a fascinating place to be and I'm looking forward to learning more about DF&I um, in the coming months and years. We're excited and it's been a great partnership and we just so appreciate you know everybody who's here yeah. and, and, and JSA particularly. So Thank thanks you. so much for all the support and 
we look forward to continuing together. It is absolutely our pleasure. Thanks so much. All right. Take care. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. So stay curious, stay connected and happy networking.